All right, it's the day after Halloween. I'm still recovering from the sugar coma. Don't judge. And I figured I could talk about something that has been asked a number of times, namely how I got into swords. So this is going to be a laid back, rambling type video. Hope you enjoyed. So it all goes back to my childhood. I used to be, as a kid, a big fan of He-Man. <laughs> That was back in the mid and late 80s when I didn't grasp the full extent of the cringe yet. You know, when, when I look back now, most of the, the cartoons of the 80s and 90s were just full of cheese and cringe and... I'm stuck tighter than a champagne cork. Gotta use my think tank. Some exceptions, but overall was pretty... yeah. Anyway. So I was, back then I was, I was already drawn to stuff like that, you know, fantasy and swords. And, uh, my dad was also into swords at the time. I mean, in the 80s, a lot of people were. That was the heyday of the, you know, sword and sorcery type movie. You know, you had Conan and Highlander and, and all these other movies that, you know, made swords really popular and martial arts for that matter. And uh, I, in school, I used to draw stuff like, you know, heroes and weapons and, and stuff. Uh, for whatever reason, I just naturally gravitated toward that. I enjoyed it. Um, I had action figures, like so many other kids back in, in the day, and weapons were always a cool part of it. Um, and, you know, sometimes other kids in school would ask, like, why, why do you draw that stuff? Or... You know, why, why this and that. At a certain point in time, I mean, when I was in elementary school, most of the kids agreed that He-Man was cool and turtles and blah, everything, heroes and weapons and, and all that. This was all cool and everybody agreed pretty much. Um, later, there was, there was more of a, the normie versus, I don't know, nerd, geek, whatever the hell you want to call it bit more of that going on and uh, so I always found it weird when people ask things like that you know oh, what why are you why are you into this why are you into what you are into like why are you into sports and, and wrestling I mean I was into wrestling too at the time but it, it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing and I made another video about this, Why Swords. It's the title. You can check that out if you haven't seen it before. Link down below where I talk about, you know, the, the general appeal of swords and history and, and why they were popular and all of that. This is really more about the personal side of things. So there's always been the, the interest in fantasy and, you know, the... the heroic nature of swords as a symbolism and as something that's just plain cool. And later as I got into actually getting reproductions of them, uh, the very first thing I got was a cheapo wall hanger katana. Um, actually the very first was a ninja sword, the Hollywood version. And that was a complete wall hanger, was not functional whatsoever. After that, I got a katana that was um, at least full tang, even though it was still cheapo stainless steel that cannot be considered functional, but at least it was a full tang. And then after that, I got the first, you know, fully functional sword, which was a high carbon steel Viking sword. Pretty cheap thing, but, you know, it was at least functional. So that got me into, um, well, at first just messing around with it, just swinging it around, coming up with katas, you know, just, in other words, just messing around, just randomly swinging the sword around and, and trying to make it look cool or whatever. Pretty cringy, but you start somewhere. And then eventually on YouTube, I saw that people were actually using them for cutting practice and were cutting up bottles and pumpkins and a bunch of other things and I was like hey that's cool I want to do that so I, I got into that uh, before that of course way back I of course did you know sword fights with my dad where we just made wooden swords and you know 
played around, basically. And so then the, that was, quote-unquote, the real deal, even though it was, of course, still messing around for the most part. It was just, you know, cutting up bottles without knowing proper cutting technique. And so really the fun aspect is what originally got me interested. And then there is the, the historical interest, of course. Um, it seems that a lot of people assume that I... I'm really deep into history and I'm a history expert or something like that, which I'm really not. I mean, I do find history interesting, no doubt about it. And mainly, you know, the weapons and warfare aspect, also other parts of life back then, but I'm not actually that big into history. I've always been more interested in the practical aspect of history, so to speak. For example, when I studied archaeology for a while, that was way too dry for me. You know, looking at ceramic shards all the time and typology and memorizing which, you know, finds were made where and what time period and all that. Just, uh, no thanks. But then I also found that there is such a thing as experimental archaeology, where archaeologists actually try to make um, items that have been found and try to figure out how to use them and even reconstruct entire villages and all of that. That really interested me. That's really the fascinating part for me, trying to relive history to an extent, uh, not going <laughs> full force and, and living as a hermit in the woods somewhere, but just, you know, connecting with it directly, you know, on a, a very uh, hands-on level, if you will. And so that's also what I enjoy in general about having swords. I'm not the kind of person who just likes to have them on the wall. I like to do something with them as well. So cutting is definitely high on the list. Just handling them, practicing with them, just, just doing something with them. That's, that's really a main thing. You know, just like other people use various sports equipment for fun, you know, th this is an interesting thing. You know, when there are two main reactions to collecting swords, this kind of thing. I mean, aside from the obvious, hey, cool, yeah, I like that. I'm interested in that too. I, I collect swords too. Aside from that, the two main reactions seem to be either, um, okay, let's say three reactions. One is just this very polite kind of, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, oh, interesting like pretending to be interested, even though they're like, oh, whatever. Uh, the other reaction is people who are just scared by weapons, or just the first reaction is, oh, are you, are you some kind of psycho? Are you trying, going to kill somebody with a sword? Uh, you know, this, this kind of either incredulity or just scared and, and paranoid and whatever. That's what a lot of people have. And then there is... The other reaction from people who are also in, in kind of a niche as far as, you know, how mainstream people see them, and that's gun nuts and people who, who are into knives and stuff like that, they get the same reaction from people who are like, oh, that, that's, that seems like a psycho, you know, you're, are you kind of some kind of murderer or whatever, you know, uh, but these people then sometimes also react to this uh, in, in a negative way, like, why are you wasting your time with swords? You should be collecting guns and shooting and getting ready for the zombie apocalypse or when the government is coming after you, trying to take your stuff. You know, that's that's the other reaction, like, with swords? You should, should have knives and guns and everything. That's a waste of time. You know, and uh, I, I never got this kind of thing, like, waste of time? I mean, there's people chasing after an inflated leather ball. Um, that's fine, but collecting swords and, and trying to <laughs> trying to practice how to use them. You know. You know, lear learning learning histor learning historical martial arts. Ooh, what a freaky nerd. Whatever. I, I don't really get that part. Baseball. I, I, I mean, this is the other thing. People just naturally like to hit things and, and like to, you know, take, take up either weapons or, or vaguely weapon-like objects 
and hit things with them. Either, you know, destroy them or otherwise just swing stuff around. You know, kids do that all the time when, when all they have is sticks. They run around with sticks and pretend that's swords or guns or whatever. It's just part of human nature. We're just naturally uh, interested in these things because it's kind of in our blood. You know, we're, you know, hunters, warriors, all of that is just part of our history, our nature, our DNA, however you want to look at it. it it's pretty common. And, then, and there's, you know, people who are afraid of this. These things don't seem to want to admit that. And they, they just want to deny that part of of human history or human nature. And now don't get me wrong. I, I'm not the kind of person who glorifies that sort of thing. In fact, I've, you've probably heard me make negative statements about war a number of times where somebody asked me, oh, you know, what... There was one question on a live stream in particular where somebody, and I'm not singling you out, by the way, or criticizing you, but somebody um, asked what military campaign I would find the most fun uh, to participate in. Like, if I could go to war in, in any historical time, what would I find the most enjoyable, I think the question was. And my answer was none. There's nothing enjoyable about war. War in and of itself is horrible. But, you know, you can still engage in this interest on an intellectual or just simply fun slash recreational level. So when somebody asks, why are you into this stuff? My gut reaction is almost like, why are you not? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, not really. Um, there, there was a time, you know, in my edgy teenage years and early adulthood where I was kind of looking at other people as boring normies and, you know, mundies, I used to call them, you know, mundane people. Um, yeah, very edgy. And uh, then later I realized that I was doing the exact same thing that these people are doing. Like, oh, you're weird for liking this or not liking that. Like, yeah, great, good job. <laughs> good job doing the same thing that these people are doing. So, yeah, these days I'm just like, you know, to each their own. Some people are interested in, you know, sports or cars or makeup or whatever the heck. I guess for some modern collectors, swords are kind of like sharp jewelry. They're shiny and pretty and there's a large variety of them and they're all cool and you want to collect them. You know, kind of like that, I suppose. Except that you can do stuff with them. I, I haven't seen anybody cut water bottles with earrings. Now I kind of want to see that. I think I talked about the fun exercise part of it in the other video. At least I think so. If I didn't, that's obviously part of it. Fun exercise. I guess this was more tangential than intended because it started out with how I got into it. That's answered pretty quickly. So then I just went off into it tangent about all kinds of things but you know that's that's good to do sometimes and uh yeah let me know what your personal history is you know how did you get into swords at least i'm assuming you're into swords if you're subscribed to this channel but you know something <laughs> you know whatever you're into that has anything to do with this channel or not i mean you can share whatever you want um so you can talk about your passions and interests. Anyway, so uh, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks.